the live stream a second. Okay, we're live. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Committee on Land Use. At this time, we ask that council members and council staff please turn on their video. Please silence all cell phone and electronic devices. Thank you for your cooperation. We will begin momentarily. Am I good to go? Yes. All right. All right, good morning. I am uh, Councilmember Rafael Salamanca, the chair of this committee on land use. I would like to welcome um, my, uh, I'd like to welcome you to our first remote meeting. I would like to welcome my esteemed colleagues. Uh, today we have with us, we have council members Gredenchik, Rivera, Deutsch, Ayala, Richards, Chermoya, Miller, Barron, Traeger, Kuhl, Lansman, Diaz, and Levin. And Gibson. <laughs> I'm sorry, and Gibson. Uh, I would like to uh, thank uh, Chair Moya and Chair Adams for their work on our two subcommittees. And uh, before I begin, I would like to just send my condolences to uh, Chair Adams uh, for the loss of her of her dad. Uh, before we begin, I, I, I would like to recognize the committee council to review the remote meeting procedures. Thank you, Chair Salamanca. I am Julie Lubin, counsel to this committee. Today we will vote on a number of applications referred out of our landmark subcommittee. Council members who would like to ask questions or make remarks should use the Zoom raise hand function. The raise hand button should appear at the bottom of the participant panel. I will announce council members who have questions or remarks in the order that they raise their hands. Chair Salamanca will then recognize members to speak. I would like to remind council members and the public that there may be extended pauses if we encounter technical delays. We ask that you please be patient as we work through this new format. Chair Salamanca will now continue to describe today's agenda items. Thank you, council. Today we will vote to approve OU 659, the 311-313 Pleasant Avenue cluster, an application submitted by the HPD pursuant to Article 16 of the General Municipal Law and Article 11 of the Private Housing Finance Law, requesting the waiver of the designation requirements and approval of an urban development action project. The application also seeks an exemption from real property taxes for property located in Manhattan at 311 through 313 Pleasant Avenue, 51 through 55 East 129th Street and 1263 Park Avenue. The properties are located in council districts represented by council members Kalos, Ayala, and Perkins. We will vote to approve LU660, the Union Avenue cluster, an application submitted by HPD requesting the waiver of the designation requirements, approval of an urban development action area project, and an exemption from property, from real property taxes for properties located in my district in the Bronx. These actions will facilitate the preservation of four buildings located at 774. 993 and 995 Union, Union Avenue and 1042 Longfellow Avenue with 69 units of affordable home ownership. Lastly, we will vote to approve LU 661 and pre-consider 662, both related to 266 West 96th Street. LU 661 and pre-considered 662 are applications submitted by HPD pursuant to section 197-C of the New York City Charter and section 576-A2 of the New York State Private Housing Finance Law. Each requests approval for the disposition of city-owned property located at 266 West 96th Street in Manhattan to facilitate the development of a 23-story mixed-use building containing a residential and community facility use, uses in Council Members Rosenthal's district in Manhattan. Thanks to Council Member Rosenthal's hard work, the developer has agreed to modify the unit mix so that four units that were originally earmarked for 120% of AMI are now earmarked at 67 of AMI for a total of 11 units at 27% of AMI, 11 at 67% AMI, 15 at 77% AMI, and 31 at 120% AMI and 103 market rate. Are there any members of the committee or members representing affected districts who have questions or remarks about today's items to use the raise hand button now? Council will announce members in the order the hands were raised. All right, 
Seeing none, I now call on for a vote in accordance with the recommendations of the subcommittees and local council members to approve LUs 659, 660, 661, and pre-considered LU 662. The clerk, please call the roll. Good morning, William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on land use. All items are coupled. Chair Salamanca. Aye, I know. Traeger. Aye. Ku. Council member Ku. He's muted. I will I. Thank you. Gibson. Who want to express my condolences and prayers to our colleague, Council Member Adrian Adams, with the loss of her beloved dad. We pray for you, my sister, and we love you, and we're here for you if you need anything. Uh, thank you, Chair, for your work. I vote aye on today's agenda. Baron. Permission to explain my vote? Council Member Baron to explain her vote. Uh, before I do that, I do want to express my condolences also on behalf of my family to Council Member Adrian Adams on the loss of her father. Regarding uh, the items, oops. Council Member Barron? Oh, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, thank you. Uh, regarding the items that are up for the uh, vote today, I'm voting for all to support with the exception of LU 661 and 662. And what happened with this, uh, this land use proposal, yes, the developer did move some of the units from the 120% AMI into the 67% AMI. But for me, units at 120% of the AMI are not affordable uh, in comparison to the incomes that we have for residents in New York City. That's a family of three at about $112,000. So the ones that I consider affordable are the ones at 27, 67, and 77%. And that's a total of 37 units out of the 170 total units there. So that's only about 22% that are actually affordable. I think that that does not represent well what it is that we're trying to do when people are facing such hard times and being rent burdened. And of the uh, eight bed, of the three bedroom units of which there are eight, all of those three bed, bedroom units are at market rate. So for those reasons, I'm voting no for land use 661 and 662. Thank you. Thank you. Deutsch. I and all. Lanceman. Aye. Levin. Aye. Miller. Councilmember Miller? Aye. I vote aye. Thank you. Thank you. Richards. Aye. Gordenchik. Aye. Ayala. I vote aye. Diaz. Councilmember Diaz, you're, you're muted. Thank you. Uh, yes, I vote yes and todo. Thank you. Salamanca. Congratulations, my friend. I love you, man. Moya. I vote aye. Rivera. Aye. 
Today's land use vote, land use items 659 and 660 are adopted by the committee with 15 in the affirmative, zero in the negative and no abstention. And land use items 661 and 662 are adopted by the committee 14 in the affirmative, one in the negative and no abstention. Awesome. So I would like to thank the members of the public, uh, my colleagues, council and land use staff for attending today's virtual hearing. Uh, this meeting